Left in the Field Outdoors is proud to thank these fine sponsors and many other sponsors that make this program available. Our feature sponsor today is none other than Smokey's Deer Lodge out of the hills of West Virginia. Thanks, Smokey. Hey, everybody. This is Brian Kartlinger from Left in the Field Outdoors, and I'm excited to bring this um, series to you. Uh, I'm going to be doing a series on the different types of gland lure uh, that I use and also talking about the glands that a deer will use for nonverbal communication. If you haven't used gland lure yet and you've been using urines and things and stuff like that, um, me personally, I really think you're missing the boat. Very seldom do I use any type of urine or uh, any urine-based products at all anymore. Uh, I'm out of Pennsylvania. We're allowed to use them if we want. They haven't been outlawed yet. But for about the last uh, 10, 12 years, I've been using nothing but uh, gland lure. And uh, it's just been amazing to see the results that, uh, that I have. So um, why is it important to discuss glands and gland lore and things and stuff like that? Um, for one, gland lore is going to stay um, longer in an area because it's an oil-based substance. And um, it's more natural because deer use it all the time. Urine breaks down very quickly and um, you know it, it just doesn't doesn't last as long. So um, there are quite a few glands that deer use to communicate with each other um, non-verbally and today we're going to talk about the interdigital gland um, and how it's used and where it's located things and stuff like that. So interdigital gland gets its name from coming um, from between the hooves of a deer, interdigital, okay? We have digits. Um, deer have four legs. Therefore, they have four interdigital glands. Um, the importance of the interdigital gland is that each deer secretes its own unique uh, odor, I guess you could say. So, in an area that you hunt, all the deer know essentially which deer are in that area because of how they smell with their interdigital gland lore or with their interdigital gland. That's why using a gland lore is interesting because you're introducing a new deer to that area that piques the curiosity of both bucks and does. So again, it's, it's between the toes. Uh, next time you shoot a deer, pull the hooves apart and look and you'll see a, a little tiny hole um, back in the crease uh, when you pull the toes apart. and that is where the secretion from the interdigital gland will come out uh, between the deer's toes. So why might it be important uh, for yearlings? A mother can stash the yearling somewhere and the mother can walk off and go see, uh, you know, go eat, do whatever. The yearlings can actually know where the mother went just by smelling the interdigital gland lore. So, you know, it's kind of used for you know a tracking thing for for those young ones uh, bucks can track does does can track bucks uh, they know who's in the area by the interdigital gland uh, secretion of that particular deer so using a gland lure um, like this this is a buck interdigital gland lure and this is a doe interdigital gland lure um, I use both of them in many different uh, scenarios and, and things like that uh, throughout the year. Whenever I'm going in to make mock scrapes or if I'm going to check cameras and stuff like that, I always make sure I have some of this on me. Um, you can get some of that information uh, in the, the tips and tricks and stuff like that if you check out my book, Nonverbal Deer Communication, The Power of Gland Lore. It's available. Um, on my website you can PM me and I can get you a copy. But the interdigital gland um, is going to allow deer to know who's in the area. If you've ever been in a tree stand and a deer comes in and they really don't know you know you're there or whatever and they catch a whiff of something that they don't like or they pinpoint you because of the moon or whatever you'll see them bob their head and look around and oftentimes they will stomp their foot. Uh, what that doe is doing, or a buck, is signaling to everybody else every time they smack that foot on the ground with their hoof. Uh, they're, sig they're putting a lot of scent down on there and they're signaling to everybody else that, hey, there's something in here that's not right. You may want to be careful coming in here. Um, how long exactly does that stay in the area? I, I don't know, but 
Um, you know, it's got to be longer than what uh, urine would be because urine breaks down a lot, uh, a lot quicker. Um, I've also watched on different occasions. I've watched uh, does that have bedded down uh, near me and get up and have you know gone a different direction. And I've watched bucks come in and sniff around the beds and get up and walk in the same direction, following the same uh, the same path. So the interdigital gland is extremely important for I essentially identifying you know which buck and which doe is in the particular area. Uh, the gland lure that I've been using for many years is uh, Smokey's Deer Lures. He makes all of his own gland lures and um, they're high quality gland lures. Uh, this is a two ounce bottle. This will last you a long time if you're very smart about using it. Um, Smokey will send you uh, glass uh, bottles which makes sure that everything's fresh and there's no contaminants in them. And also he has little stoppers that go in there, uh, eyedroppers, glass eyedroppers, that you can use to make sure that you're not using too much uh, gland in one area. Because remember, if you take a whole dropper full, if you take a bottle and just dump some, you know, dump some in, you're essentially signaling to every deer in that area that there's something wrong in this area, there's something dangerous in this area. Um, so you can check out SmokiesDeerLores.com um you know by far probably the best uh gland lures i've used these are the only ones i've ever used and because of the quality uh, of them i never needed to use anything else and if you want to learn more about uh tips and tricks on how to use uh interdigital gland lure again in my book i talk about that um and uh over the next few weeks we're going to go through and get into some of these other uh different glands that deer have and that they use for nonverbal communication. So I hope you find this informative. Uh, if you're interested in, in gland lures, uh, you can PM me um, or you can uh, send me an email at kighty7 at gmail.com. Check out my Facebook page, uh, Left in the Field Outdoors, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Uh, take a second at the bottom and subscribe to the channel and you'll get more updates of new videos and things that are coming out about gland lore and what we're looking at and trying to help hunters uh, with using nonverbal communication because gland lore is it, it's legit. And um, talk to a lot of people and once they start using it, um, they never stop. This is Brian Keitling with Left in the Field Outdoors. God bless, happy hunting. Thank you for enjoying this video. Feel free to join us for upcoming videos about gland lore and how to use them. God bless.